My name is Barry Allen, and I am the fastest man alive. Animes, animes, animes. Oh yeah. Is this how the kids do animes these days? I don't even know anymore. Oh, they need cleavage, do they? Oh, let's get some of that in here. Check it out. Fuck. How's it going? And that's gonna severely fuck my recording up, but you know what? I can live with it. Oh, that made a, an unnecessarily weird noise. Calm down. That's really lopsided. Hey, look, it's a light. Oh, fuck, I think I broke my fucking trite. No way. Oh, ooh, it's getting tighter. It's getting tighter. All right. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know why I actually put effort into making these things, but today I thought that we would go and look at some of the weirdest kind of Actually, you know what? I just realized something. Anime and cosplay are two different separate entities where cosplay is more so just dressing up as characters from pretty much anything that you can think of. Star Wars, anime inclusive. So I think I just made a, a really, really bad attempt at a tie in there, but you know what? We're gonna go with it anyway, because today I'm gonna be looking at some of the weirdest kind of cosplays that are out there on the internet. So today I have dived deep into the amazing place that is the interwebs and I have procured a lot of different cosplays that are quite bad. So today I will be taking a glimpse at some of the weirdest, to say the least, of uh, some of them. So this guy has obviously gone as Wolverine, as you can clearly see because of the claws that he's got going on there, but I don't think he kind of took into account the fact that he also looks like a massive banana. I'm pretty sure it is a banana costume <laughs> because it's got the top. Wait a second! I don't know if it's a... Is that a beak? Is he put it on backwards? I mean, he's obviously custom made the suit, so good on you for trying. Because I mean, I did see it was Wolverine. You got the little ears, you got the stripes, you got the, the undies, but... I, I'm not sure how well it kind of flows into the, the overall authenticity of the amazing cosplay that is Wolverine. Next up we have The Thing. <laughs> oh my god, what are you doing? It looks like you've just glued rice cakes to your body. <laughs> it's a Uno card. You've glued a Uno card. What? Is is that a belt or is it just a piece of paper? I don't know, man. This is this is beyond my comprehension right now. But you know what? It works. I mean, your skin tone sort of matches it. Maybe you could have put a little bit of effort into maybe colouring the little bit of the the rice cake styrofoam crap that you got on you. But you know, it works. I'll, I'll give you that. Oh, oh yeah, I can't. I, that was. I apologise for that attempt. <laughs> He's got a fucking doormat on him. <laughs> it looks so smug as well. And the guy in the background is just like, what the hell is that? What am I, what am I doing here, man? It's so boring. He's just chill. What is he doing sit on the floor? Is that a thing? Do people just get lazy standing up and looking at everything? But I'll give him, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. I did realize that he was Wookiee. I can tell that that's Wookiee. He's got the sash on. It's got, I guess, the kind of right geometric shapes to kind of get it in your brain. He's got the, the fur and he's uh, he's bald. Yeah, I don't even know, hey. Eggs. I like eggs. I'm coming as a box of eggs. His head also looks like a pretty big egg to me. So that's good. It works well, man. You done, you done good for yourself. <coughs> oh, fuck. <coughs> what the fuck? Fuck. <laughs> X-Men Colossus. You could have at least coloured yourself in freaking silver paint, man. It's a lovely day. Oh, what a day. What a lovely day. Alright, so that's Colossus. You know what? He's, he's got a decent costume on. Maybe if Colossus started injecting mass amounts of estrogen, I guess. <laughs> oh, God. Ugh, I feel like Rick Sanchez just burping all the time. Holy moly. What the fuck? Yo, that's really creepy, man. I mean, I guess I guess the massively long legs are helping out with your back. 
Oh, that's fucked. What the hell have you got on your boobs, man? I don't understand. I get that it's a Pokemon. That's kind of like what I did with my glasses, actually. Oh, yeah, she's got the same idea as my glasses, man! Oh, yeah, except I can't actually see through these things, so I'm not even sure if I'm looking at the camera or not. Who knows? I could be looking at the wrong... wrong thing. I rank this cosplay anime. Oh yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. I got but this one here, I really don't know where you were going with the kind of bottom there, but it genuinely looks like you got two two hard-ons, mate. What the fuck is that? Holy shit! <laughs> My name's Barry Allen, and I'm the fastest man alive. My name is Barry Allen, and I'm the fastest man alive. The guy who's got permanent marker and bloody drawn in abs. That is the way to do it. Why have I never thought of this? He's determined though. It's decent cosplay. If he went to Comic Con like that, I'd high five him. That's. Why does my fucking necklace look like a fucking choker? Oh my god. And I <laughs> what the fuck is that? Is that a tattoo? Please don't tell me that's an actual tattoo you've got on your fucking ass. <laughs> what the hell? I mean, it, it fucking works, man. Okay, that's a good one. That's that's made me laugh. That's a good cosplay. I mean, I don't know why you've used coins, but. It works. It works quite well. I like how you've used the phone as a little bit of a, you know, perfect shot kind of thing going on. He's cropped it to the side. It's not in the center of frame. You've done a good job, both in the editing sense and the cosplay. Obviously, <laughs> you've gone white face for it, but you know, whatever. Uh, it's, a, it's not a region I haven't dabbled in before. Yes! Now that is what I'm talking about. He's got the whole colour scheme right. It's not like Mr. Rice Cake from a few minutes ago. He's got a damn pat, man. I mean, maybe he could have covered up the rest of your body a little bit better. What kind of Pokemon's that, man? I don't know! Now that is capturing the low polygon count of old games quite well. Especially in the arm department. You've managed to get the two cylinders quite nicely captured there. And that is the only thing I'm looking at because in the 21st century, I'm not allowed to make any comments on the female body type at all. <clears throat> Ugh. Sorry, sorry about that. I got triggered by the internet and I had to voice my opinion even though you might not agree with it, man. Okay, let's, uh, enough of that. Coffee just makes me extremely energetic. It also makes me do weird voices. More specifically, the American accent in this kind of format. So I apologize in advance. I said, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know enough about animals and comics, bro. I don't even know what this fucking is, man. What is that? <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, that is a very nice cosplay you've got going on there. The hair beautifully contrasts with the white of the uniform slash outfit slash what else do I costume? That's the word I was looking for. What the fuck was I thinking? I was in a completely different state of mind. I love uh, I love the legs. The leg parts is pretty cool, and I'm not allowed to comment on on the groinal region. The groinal. I'm not allowed to comment on the crotch region and or the mammary glands that are so so beautifully connected to the chest. Okay, that's that's enough of that. <laughs> I went into a dark spot there. What is this? Is this She-Hulk? Man, no. Fuck. Did I just say She-Hulk is- I don't- I don't know! I don't even know what these things are anymore, dude! And on that note, I think we're gonna probably end this video here. 
If you did enjoy it and you want to check out some more equally and or possibly more entertaining videos, check out this one over here. Or you can alternately subscribe and become part of the community. And until next time, I'll catch you guys next week for another one. Peace.